coming to the second problem form the pair of linear equations in the following problems and find their solution if they exist by the elimination method the first bit given is if we add 1 to the numerator and subtract 1 from the denominator a fraction reduces to 1 it becomes 1 by 2 if we only add 1 to the denominator what is that fraction so let us see the solution for this problem in this problem we are required to find a fraction which is subject to certain conditions so let us assume the fraction to be let the fraction be x by y here x is the numerator and y is the denominator so let us first see the first condition that is when one is added to the numerator and one is subtracted from the denominator the fraction reduces to one our assumption of the fraction is x by y so when we add one to the numerator it becomes x plus one and when we subtract one from the denominator it becomes one y minus one so this is equal to one according to the given problem by cross multiplication we get x plus one is equal to y minus one on rearranging the terms of this we get x minus y is equal to minus one minus one which is x minus y is equal to minus two name this equation as equation number one now by the second condition it becomes 1 by 2 if we only add 1 to the denominator so the numerator remains as x and 1 is added to the denominator which becomes y plus 1 so this is equal to 1 by 2 on cross multiplication we get 2x is equal to y plus 1 so re on rearranging the terms we get 2x minus y is equal to 1 so name this as equation number 2 so we have to use the elimination method in order to find the solution for the equations 1 and 2. Equation 1 minus 2 gives x minus y minus 2x minus y is equal to minus 2 minus 1. We will be getting x minus y minus 2x plus y is equal to minus 3. Now minus y and plus y will be cancelled x minus 2x is nothing but minus x this is equal to minus 3 so finally we'll be getting the value of x as 3 so let us substitute x is equal to 3 in equation number 1 substitute x is equal to 3 in first equation x minus y is equal to minus 2 implies in place of x we can put 3 minus y is equal to minus 2 so minus y is equal to minus 2 minus 3 minus y is equal to minus 2 minus 3 is nothing but minus 5 that implies y is equal to 5 so we obtained the value of x as 3 and the value of y as 5 we have assumed the fraction to be x by y so in place of x we can write 3 and in place of y we can write 5 Hence, the required fraction is 3 by 5.